Hello guys, welcome to my video and today we're gonna learn how to build a drag and drop using React and for that you're gonna use a library called React Grid DND and what's gonna happen on the screen is when we drag this item here we are gonna be able to swap positions here so we click here on the state and you can see that BMW is in the second position right now and then Porsche in the first one and we can do for like which position we want so let me show you here and yeah Porsche is the last one so yeah let's start coding so here in our packet.json we have two libraries the react grid dnd and react gesture responder for the react grid dnd to work we need to install the library as well it's a requirement for the library works properly the drag and drop so if you guys are going to implement in our pro in your project you guys should be aware of that so here in our app.tsx we have our component here which is pretty simple we have our array of objects here and we are getting from that json that i've created before with id name image and description and we are mounting our component here using material ui so now we have our component here but we can't drag and drop yet because we haven't implement the code so let's get started here by importing all the necessary things we need we are gonna need the grid context provider the grid drop zone the grid item and and then swap so let me implement here below and then I will explain what is each one of them. So here we are going to have to put our grid context. It, it is a context tool. So if you are familiar with the term context in React, it's the same thing. So we are going to put our context here. Provider. Oh, I didn't put... Let's get here and put all over our our map. Now we are going to put the grid zone and then this is our item. So it is our grid item. We can put here. So yeah, what is happening here? We have our provider and our grid drop zone. So all the things like inside that provider and that drop zone will be draggable and they will watch for chains. So now it's we are getting an error here because we are missing some attribu attributes for that to work. So let's put here the attributes on change. So it will watch for chains here in our code and we can create a function called on, on change and then in the grid drop zone is where we are gonna set a few styles and an id a few stuffs here so let's put an id or we can say items the boxes per row so how many boxes will be per row we can use four like in this example then we can use the row right height we can set as 280 and then here the style you can put whatever you want here so i'm just gonna put the style here um, but let's stay comment for now and then i'll show you guys why so here in the on change method here we can oh let me fix here on change we can create a function right now so let's create a function up here that will be called every time we change something so a function called on change okay so this function it will receive three properties it can receive four but we are gonna use just uh, three for now so the source id the source index and the target index okay so we can type this as number this is a number as well and this is a string 
OK. So now we can use the const and we can create a const like next state, for example, and we are going to use the swap. So what's going to happen here? It's when we swap like between this, we are going to swap like positions. It will read this and then, and then we will update our state up here with this next state. OK, so we can put in the swap the items that we are going to update and the source index and target index for example the source index it will be the bmw and the target target index the porsche so if i swap the bmw with the porsche that's the example like the source index and target index and it will go on with another cars here now we can update our, our state, set items with next state. Okay. So let's see. Let's save and see if everything is working. Okay, our style is not that good. So let's fix that. Let's change our style here. We can put a max with it. With maybe a thousand pixels okay let's see if it's working mm, something's not right let me see i think we are missing here the key let's change the key for the grid item let's save it let's see if it work okay it didn't work so let's see oh yeah i forgot to put the style here so yeah let's set the style as i was saying before so we can put a height here for example 280 which is the our row height and we can um, multiply that by math that dot sale items dot length so we can get the items dot length divide by four okay we can save it Let's, oh, let's see here. Items, perfect. And let's see. Now it's working. So now we can check it out our state here. Let's put a button here. Now we can see our state here when we click. So why, why we did the math up here? For example, if I left here just like two, 280, the button will be right here. But we are doing a math, so it will be a dynamic and we are always getting our button down here. So yeah, now it's working perfectly. When we, when we change positions here, we can see in our state that is changing. So yeah. That was the video, I hope it will be useful for you guys, and thank you so much for watching. Leave a like down below and a comment if you have any doubts.